So you finally got your hands on Zhao. Or you've decided to bust out Zhongli who was sulking from neglect in your party following his recent buff. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Whatever the case, you need a weapon and the primordial jade has been pretty elusive. The next best thing is a deathmatch, but leveling up your battle pass is no easy gig, especially the local specialties from both Mondstadt and Liyue. Well, fret not buddy, this video is here to help. Yo, what's going on guys, Devon here and welcome to the field. Alright guys, let's start off with the prime spot here in Liyue where you can gather your local specialties. So one tip is that you can head to all the different Anemo statues here in Mondstadt. And what tends to happen here is that you can find a lot of Pinwheel Aster. So wherever you teleport to here in Mondstadt at the statues, you will be able to find the Pinwheel Aster. So let's just go ahead and gather that. And of course, the pinwheel aster is not the only thing that you can gather here. There is also snapdragon that can be found right here at the edge of the pond. And of course, if you have an archer in your party, you can go ahead and even gather some fowl while you're at it. Okay, let's head to another spot. Stormbearer's Mountain. So I already went ahead and put down some markers where you can find a lot of Valberry. Initially it may be tedious but I would definitely suggest going ahead and doing some exploration right here at Stormbearer's Mountain and just put your markers down with each Valberry that you find to make it easier for future foraging. Alright guys, so another very awesome spot that you can hit up is the Star Snatch Cliff. There are a lot of Cecilia flowers up here and I mean a lot. The journey to the cliff may be long but it is worth it because you can pick up so many of the Cecilia flowers here. Alright guys, so another good spot that you can hit up is the Springvale Valley. So there should be a very small pond right here where we can gather a whole bunch of calla lily. And of course, I like to take out Pumba every time that I come here. I thought we were friends Pumba, but you keep headbutting me buddy. Can't be doing that. So surrounding the pond, we have a whole bunch of flowers here that we can go ahead and forage. I don't know how Timon will feel about me killing his best friend Pumba, but it's a circle of life. Alright guys, so in addition to the Star Snatch Cliff, one of my most favorite places to go and get local specialties is the Wolvendom. So right here we can pick up a whole bunch of wolf hooks. So what I like to do is pretty much start all the way down at the bottom and make my way along the path and just pick up everything that I see. So let's go ahead and jump right here. So right off the bat, upon teleporting, we see night flowers that we can gather. And there is a whole bunch here that you can get. We got these slimes protecting some Kala Lily that we can also gather. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I took your treasure. Forgive me, okay? Right here beside these monsters, we have our first wolf hook. And as you continue up the path, you'll start stumbling along more. But you just have to take your time and thoroughly scour the region because there are a lot of them scattered around. But if you run too fast, you'll end up passing a lot. So take your time and look around thoroughly. Alright guys, so by this point you should have collected a significant amount of local specialties here in Mondstadt and then the last place that we'll be hitting up is a region right over here which is a border between Liyue and Mondstadt. It just sucks that MiHoYo didn't give us a teleporter right over here, it would be very convenient. But what we can do is head on over to Liyue 
and take this path up to the mountain or of course if you don't want to head on over to Leo it you can always take this path down by the Don winery and take this path up to the mountain so whichever path you think is more convenient for you you can go ahead and do that all right guys so we are finally here this spot is like the prime place to gather dandelion seeds and of course, while you're here, you can also be gathering a whole bunch of lampgrass. I've only collected a few of the many specialties that you can find here, guys. And if you have been hitting up all the spots that I've suggested so far, you should have collected most, if not all, the local specialties that you need for Mondstadt. Definitely stick around for my next video where I'll be covering all the sweet spots in Liyue to collect your specialties. Until then, this is Devon. You have been watching the fields, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.